William Hill sponsors Joshua versus Barker live on Sky Sports Box Office. Can catch you, so you look like something out of a rap video right now. What? You look like something out of a rap video right now. I wish I had them kind of guys, wouldn't it? Kevin Cash is here with Dave Caldwell with the Wayne for Joshua Parker. How are you? I'm good. Good, yeah. Um, only took us about three hours to get down here. It wasn't a bad drive. Evans opened as we walked out of the car. Got a bit wet, but we're dry now. We're in here, so it's good. Uh, massive fight from Cardiff this week. Heavyweight yeah. unification fight, Joshua Parker. Um, what chance do you give Parker in this fight, David? Do you know what? When the first, when the first time people were talking about Parker fighting AJ, I was like, no, no chance, no chance. I've been watching a lot of Parker as he's coming along, and he's got himself in really good shape. He doesn't look like he's got. Oh, we're going to see in a bit. We're going to see how good a shape he is. But it looks like he's not carrying excess weight. He's got himself fit. He's got himself in really good shape. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Listen, don't get me wrong, I still believe AJ's just the experience that he's got in fights like Klitschko, they're going to be the difference. How he's, he's educating himself and he's developing fight on, fight out, I think that's going to be a difference in this fight. Parker's a, got a good engine, he showed a good chin, but he's never boxed at that sort of level. So we don't know, we don't know everything about him yet. I think AJ in about six to eight rounds, if it goes longer than that, it's interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. I give Parker a shot if he rides out the rocky moments, if he can get his combination punches going. For me, Anthony Joshua's jab and his feet, just dropping back, coming back to the jab are very, very important because that will stop uh, Parker from getting his combination up. Because he loves to throw those combinations. The body shots downstairs, right hand to the chest. He loves to get those kind of shots off. If he's not allowed to get those shots off, then I think he's in trouble. Doesn't look like Mr. Deontay Wilder has made the trip over no, here. No, disappointed. Very disappointed. I think, I think um, from a fan, fan's perspective, I think that would have been great. But also from uh, a marketing perspective for, for those two for, for a future fight, I think he's missed a trick a little bit there because this, you know, this is his chance to, to captivate the British public's audience again. Get yourself onto onto AJ, providing AJ wins the fight. Get yourself straight in the ring there, you know, confront him, and let's you know let, let's get it going. But wasn't, wasn't guaranteed that he could get in the ring. That was his reasons why. Can you yeah, see but that? Yeah, listen, I'm not being funny. If if you're Deontay Wilder, big six foot seven heavyweight champion, right? You can get in that ring if you want to get in that ring. Do you know what I mean? You really, you can. Um, so I'd, I'd say that if you're a betting man and yeah. he's here, yeah. you'd say that he'll end up in the ring. Yeah. yeah. yeah he would. So, obviously, it's whether it's a travel or whatever, I don't know, but obviously, it doesn't want to be here enough for him to travel over here and get here. You know, it, it's, you've got to see it from his point of view. If, if the reasons aren't strong enough to come over here, then fair enough. But from our point of view, from fans and from a business point of view, I would have thought that this would have been a perfect opportunity to get yourself right out there. Coming off for a really good win himself. Get here in front of the public, get in front of the TV cameras, you know, it, it would have been good. Is your Tony Bellion making the trip over, I believe he is? Yeah, he should be here tomorrow, yeah. Um, he's done his last boxing session of the week this morning, uh, before I set off and finish. Uh, he's, got his, he's got his treadmill work in the morning tomorrow, um, and then he'll be, he'll be heading down here tomorrow. I understand Mr David Hay won't be here. Oh, is he not? I don't know. I don't know. That's Listen, what I was told. Generally, we're not, whatever David Hayes doing with his camp, his trainer, it doesn't make any difference to us. If Bellew's here, he's here. If Hayes here, he's here. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I think there's no, um, there's no real feeling of, of what he's going to do and what he's going to do. Listen, the five weeks away now, I think both men just want to get to fight week now because it's been an extraordinary long build up to a fight because of the delay and everything. It's just been just been so long. I think everybody's bored with all the chit chat and all the shit talking. It's just a case of getting to fight week. And I think I think fight week, that's when you might see a little bit more interaction, you know? Uh, because they're gonna be that close to a fight and it, they, they can almost 
smell each other's sweat. Um, I think I think fight week it might get a little bit interesting, a bit lively. Ultimately, all anybody's bothered about is that May 5th, David A gets in the ring and we have a fight. And that's what we're going to get. That's cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. We'll I'm sure we'll catch up with you over the weekend. Sponsors Joshua vs. Barker, live on Sky Sports Box Office.